It's a day after President Muhammad Buhari submitted a ministerial list of 43 nominees to the Senate for confirmation. Under Order 43. Just before the nominees are called in, the senator representing the Federal Capital Territory, Philip Aduda, raises a constitutional point of order over the exclusion of the FCT from the list. My constituents have asked me to come with a loud voice to say that this National Assembly is the State House of Assembly for the people of the FCT. And as such, they are depending on the National Assembly to help and ensure that there's equity for the people of the FCT. This is an executive function, and uh, you have made the point very loudly to borrow your word. And I'm sure the executive uh, will take uh, the appropriate uh, action uh, as quickly as possible. <laughs> After the dust settles, the nominees are ushered in one after the other. With no portfolios attached to the nominees, the senators pose questions speculatively. Our economy is a monocultural economy. And the only way we can reduce our dependence on oil is to diversify it by going into agriculture, solid minerals, and manufacturing. What, in your opinion, can the government do to succeed in the diversification of the Nigerian economy? We do not need to concentrate most of our industries in the urban areas. We need to create industrialization in most of the rural areas, thereby creating teeming population for the regions. We don't need to depend on only oil. Yes, oil is a cash cow, but I believe that if we develop our agriculture sector, we can equally develop, create jobs and for our teaming youth. Vice Chancellor can be appointed from anywhere. That's how it used to be before. But now, University of Bauchi will make sure that somebody from Bauchi becomes the Vice, vice Chancellor. University of Nowere will make sure that Nowere man or people from the South becomes the Vice Chancellor. That it has become very current now, and that is not what supposed to be. What's your position on it? I know what it means because I'm always under pressure by people insisting that the vice chancellor must be somebody from their area. Unfortunately, this is no longer in the hands of the university, uh, in the hands of the ministry, because since the time the university fought for autonomy and they got it, I think even the president has no hand in the election or selection of vice chancellor. I think the process is clear enough. When there is a vacancy, it is advertised, people apply, and then they are called for interview, and the university council selects the vice chancellor. Before they used to select three, so they will send it to the minister, the minister will send it to the president for selection. Now it is just for our information. Some nominees with legislative backgrounds are given the traditional take a bow and go advantage without any questions from the lawmakers. The last nominee of the day is a woman. She is handed a special advantage based on gender. We as women, we organized rallies, protest marches in Abuja, protesting that plane crash. But what was the consequence for action? Nothing. Nothing happened. So I now felt I needed a platform where my voice would be heard to fight social injustice. Having screened 10 of the 43 nominees on the first day, the Senate is reiterating its position to ensure that it screens all the nominees before embarking on its long break, even if it means extending sitting to Friday, which is a non-sitting day for the Senate. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.